top South Korean and European Union officials on Monday strongly condemned North Korea's reported troop dispatch to aid Russia's war against Ukraine and agreed to work together to try to block deepening military cooperation between Moscow and Pyongyang. North Korea's alleged troop deployment threatens to expand the almost three-year-long war and is causing security jitters in South Korea where many worry Russia might reward the North by giving it sophisticated weapons technology or offering a defense commitment in the event of a conflict on the Korean peninsula. In a meeting in Seoul, South Korean Defense Minister Kim Jong-hyun and the EU's visiting foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell expressed serious concerns about North Korea's reported troop dispatch and strongly condemned it, according to a statement from the South Korean Defense Ministry. The U.S. government said Thursday that about 8,000 North Korean soldiers were in Russia near Ukraine's border and preparing to join Russia's fight against Ukraine in the coming days. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky on Friday urged allies to stop just watching and take steps before North Korean troops deployed in Russia reach the battlefield. According to U.S., South Korean and Ukrainian intelligence assessments, North Korea was estimated to have moved about 10,000 to 12,000 troops to Russia. If they start fighting against Ukraine forces, it would mark North Korea's first participation in a large-scale conflict since the end of the 1950-1953 Korean War. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has used the Russia-Ukraine war as a way to expand defense and economic cooperation with Russia in the face of an intensifying U.S.-led pressure campaign against his advancing nuclear program. The U.S., South Korea and others accuse North Korea of having already exported artillery shells, missiles and other conventional arms to Russia. In the past two years, Kim has also ramped up tests of nuclear-capable missile systems as Russia and China have repeatedly blocked US-led attempts to toughen international sanctions on North Korea over its testing activities in defiance of UN bans. In a background briefing with local media on Monday, South Korea's military said North Korea has built anti-tank, trench-like structures at two sites near the Korea's heavily armed border, where it blew up northern parts of unused cross-border road and rail routes last month in a display of anger toward South Korea. One of the sites is on the western portion of the border and the other on the eastern section. The structure at the eastern part of the border was assessed to be 160 meters long, while the one at the western part of the border was about 120 meters long, according to the Southern Korean military briefing. Last week, North Korea test-launched an intercontinental ballistic missile designed to attack the U.S. mainland for the first time in almost a year. Footage has been released showing the exchange of bodies of Russian and Ukrainian servicemen who died in Russia's Kursk region. As can be seen from the photos taken and shared by the Russian military, dozens of Russian soldiers captured by the Ukrainian army have been returned. Some of them are wounded. At the same time, Ukrainian fighters who were in captivity have also been returned. It should be noted that the Ukrainian army launched large-scale incursion into Russia's Kursk region three months ago. It should be noted that this is the first prisoner exchange since the beginning of hostilities in Kursk. Давайте браться немножко, чуть-чуть надо припомнить уйти на это. Четверку. 